Hello once again from Cards Camp. Rich Gray alongside Bob Kemp and Ed Cole, NBC Sports Radio AM 1060. And another Cards Camp report and another injury to kind of follow up on this time. It's with uh, Gerard Powers. Yeah, shut down. Not a good term. I didn't even see him on the field out there today. No, he even was out there. Even on the side. He was on the sidelines. He was? Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is not good. Uh, you know, obviously, Justin Bethel is going to have to show up now. Um, shut down. I mean, I, I, who knows what that is. But, uh, yeah, it's just a never-ending hamstring injury. And this, yeah. this is, uh, you know, a poll question tomorrow. Is this a, a playoff team? After all the training camp issues, I think that's now a legitimate question. And it's crazy because they're all hamstring injuries. That's what's keeping Sean Weatherspoon off. Thankfully, Shaq Riddick came back today. But, I mean, Weatherspoon, like you said, Gerard Powers now. It's, I mean, it's an epidemic with this team. Yeah. And uh, we haven't heard the term shut down. If I, I don't recall that. No. I mean, guys that have been out for a month. Guys that have been out for basically three months. Shaq, Shaq Riddick. I never heard the term shut down. That's certainly not a good thing. You mentioned no. Sean Witherspoon, though. Uh, Arian said it's very discouraging, and it's something that we've kind of been echo- echoing. He's only been, what, what, 20 minutes of camp so far? That is correct. Uh, it's uh, now 15 practices he's missed, and uh, I've got to get my numbers right here. I think it's 14. Today was 15? This Today's 15th 15. yes. practice. So he's missed yep. 14 practices in and, and one hour, basically. So, um, you know, that's... Uh, they had Lorenzo Alexander, a lot at the inside linebacker today, by the way. And, uh, and Woodley was pretty much running with the ones on the outside. Yeah. So uh, I think that that might be a way for Lorenzo if he's on the bubble to make the team because he's got a chance on the inside. And once again, to repeat for the 4,000th time, and I really apologize, but they only have one NFL caliber inside linebacker on this team. And I don't know how good Kevin Minner is, uh, at least on the field. You know, Weatherspoon can certainly play, but, I mean, this backup crew is pretty bad. Ed, you have the full injury report from today's practice. Yeah, um, who's going to be probably come back on Wednesday, Jermaine Gresham or a Watford? Or a Watford has a, um, has, has a little issue. Britton Golden should be back on Wednesday. Michael Floyd's out, was out. Of course, Power's out with the hamstring. Chris Johnson with the hamstring. Sean Weatherspoon with the hamstring. Mikey Potty, of course, is out. So that's, uh, that's it. Rob Crisp came back. Shaq Riddick, we said, and Jonte Green came back today. So the Cardinals are off tomorrow. What did you kind of notice in practice today, though, Bob? Well, there's always some changes on Mondays as far as, uh, you know, the uh, depth chart goes. It was really kind of hard to tell with the ones because Golden was out, and he did leave the game. He did leave the field before the end of the game on Saturday. Just to clarify, he left with two minutes to go in the game, and the Cardinals' offense was never back on the field. So he actually left that field twice. And then he left once, came back, Played the field goal drive and then left for good. Uh, if there had been overtime, he wasn't on the field. If it had been overtime, a lot of us would have been upset too. <laughs> but uh, so, so it's hard to tell what's going on in the wide receiver spot. Actually, Shipley had a real, ter- real rough day today too. He had an opportunity to run with the twos some, and he dropped a couple of balls. So uh, then, uh, of course, uh, you've got Bethel stepping up for Powers. I uh, mentioned the fact that Woodley was running with the ones. Gunter was running with the ones. Also, I uh, saw a little bit of uh, a couple of Stinson and also uh, Mauer. Morrow? Morrow. Josh Morrow, yes. The, who had a very good game Saturday night. I didn't quite realize yes, he that did. until I watched the game on TV again last night. Those guys were running a little bit with the ones, too, as far as tackles go. Uh, and as far as offense goes, uh, they moved uh, – Humphreys was playing some left tackle. They're trying to get some. He's going to have yeah. to play both sides, if at least be uh, accustomed to playing both sides. To he make, looked pretty rough to me today. Yeah, I didn't really notice much today because no. it was just shorts. But uh, if he didn't look good in pass protection in shorts, that's bad. And uh, Massey was with the twos as far as the right tackle goes. And also, I saw a couple incidents. And I think we came the closest we've seen a fight in training camp today. Uh, Minter blew up a play on a blitz. And uh, Shipley was none too happy about that, and they, uh, uh, they were helmet to helmet for about five seconds, and then they decided probably shouldn't fight, I guess, right. is how they did there. It's either fight or run. Yeah. Fight, and, then run. And Glenn Carson flat just took down Kerwin Williams on a running play, and Williams is, you know, was not too thrilled about that, and I don't blame him. They're in shorts. So uh, <laughs> those were the kind of the dog days of training camp i guess but <laughs> right but those were the the only other incident that uh, you know was about two weeks ago that 
and I don't remember who that was, but uh, this is the closest I think we've seen anything uh, escalating into uh, any kind of fight, quote unquote. So they only have three days to go, and I guess it's getting a little testy. <laughs> well, again, they're off tomorrow. We're going to be back in the studio tomorrow. And I have one more thing. Yes. Logan Thomas. Uh, first play today when it was uh, just a defensive back wide receiver drill, he threw the ball right to the defensive back. Mm. So that's how he oh, bounced no. back after that zero for four performance wow. on, the, on Saturday night. The Phillips Sims looked good again today to me. He, he was sharp and he was crisp on his throws. So like you said, if he throws it right to a defensive back and, and, and Philip Sims does this good in practice, he did well against San Diego, then... Well, I think we might, we might start start getting some separation here. Well, I think there might be some separation. I think the question is, is there, do they have room for three quarterbacks? And, you know, the Powers injury now escalates that even further. Already got him keeping an extra offensive lineman. Right. Uh, might have to keep an extra defensive lineman if nobody separates themselves in that second group. Which means there will be, what, two quarterbacks? And Correct. Put Sims or... Tom, Thomas on the practice squad. Well, they don't even bother with Thomas. And he, yeah. You know, I was talking to guys, you know, others today, and he, they don't. Nobody even thinks he's going to get claimed. So if he gets released, he's going to be on the street. Uh, so he's just done nothing to really inspire anybody at this point. And the other thing is, I probably should have mentioned this the first part. Uh, this was a much different practice today. It was uh, almost no 11 on 11. A lot of seven on seven. A lot more drills. Uh, ones versus twos, very little ones versus ones. So very, very different practice than we've seen the last you know, three weeks. So again, off tomorrow. We'll be back in the studios. We'll be back out of the nest Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. But what should we expect in tomorrow's Sports Zone, Bob? What do we have, Ed? <laughs> Who's talking uh, today? We talked to David Johnson, and we talked to Bruce Arians, of course. Who else did I email you? It was David Johnson... This is well organized. This is very folks. organized. Yeah. Who was the other one that you emailed me? What kind of me? question is that, Rich? What's going on I tomorrow? I figured you had a better idea what was going on tomorrow. So we got a Giants preview, right? I can't wait till you reach the age where you're just trying to get through today. <laughs> okay. I'll be dead by then, but yeah, you know, whatever. Okay. But if I'm around, call me. Okay. To see how that's going for you. Huh? I'll let I'll let you know. So yeah. for stay tuned. Bob go to Newton's birthday, by the way, today. Right, He's yeah. seventy. Oh, it was day on Buchanan. That's day who we talked Buchanan. to. There we go. See, we got it in eventually. Yeah. Eventually. So you 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, day on Buchanan. Yeah. Check, uh, check Bob Kemp's bottom line tomorrow morning. Maybe under 70 right? for Bob Kemp. Uh, under 70. Yeah, so, do that tomorrow morning. Bob Kemp's bottom line tomorrow morning. Exactly. Okay. That's a good By idea. 8 a.m. By 8 a.m. Yeah. Right. Excellent idea. So, for Bob Kemp and Ed Cole, I'm Rich Gray. It's been another Cards Camp Report on NBC Sports 1060.com. Uh, we'll have another report on Wednesday. See you then.